Welcome back to the White House. Less than a week before President Trump takes office here, and the Chinese are already laying down some red lines. Beijing issuing a stern warning over Mr. Trump saying the U.S.'s one China policy is negotiable. As far as they're concerned, it is not. The U.S. policy on the confusing triangle of Taiwan, China, and Washington has been a hallmark of American foreign policy for decades. Michael Oslin, author of the brand new book, The End of the Asian Century, joins us. Uh, Michael, fitting that you are here as Beijing issues this warning shot even before President Trump takes office. Well, thank you. Yes, I, what Trump is doing is, is really threatening to upend all of U.S.-Chinese diplomatic relations since normalization back in 1979. Is, let me, I'll, I'll stop you real quick. Is that a bad thing? Do Chinese American diplomatic relations need to be upended a little bit? I think there's a very strong case to be made that the U.S. government, that successive U.S. presidents, have been all too willing to accommodate China. The question is, is this the right way to go about flexing a little bit more muscle and saying, look, there are things we need to change. What he's doing with the one child, uh, with the, not the one child policy, but the one China policy, uh, is actually grabbing the third rail of, of Chinese diplomacy and politics. So it's, it's a very risky move. What, what are the risks, really? Are you, is this a risk of war? Is this risk of the Chinese just getting a little bit upset? Is this the risk of the Chinese testing uh, Mr. Trump in some other way? They will certainly test him in some other way. But this is, this is something that edges closer to the potential of actual war. Why? Because it's not just about Taiwan. It is about Hong Kong. It is about Xinjiang. It is about Tibet. For the Chinese, the idea that any one of these parts over which there is a dispute about do they belong to China or not, and which there are separatist movements, if any one of these parts start to split away, then other parts can split away. So we in the government need to understand it's not just about Taiwan in the Chinese eyes. It's really about the legitimacy of the entire government. Interesting to listen to Rex Tillerson, the, Mr. Trump's nominee for Secretary of State, who was more hawkish than I've heard just about anybody be uh, as it relates to the islands that China has built and their claims over the South China Sea. Take a listen. We're going to have to send China a clear signal that, that first the island building stops and second your access to those islands is also not going to be allowed. Access to those islands not going to be allowed. That sounds an awful lot uh, like a threat that doesn't have the next half of the sentence to it. Yeah, that, that is uh, certainly the hardest that any U.S. politician or, or would-be government official has, has talked about. I think what they're doing is building off of the Hague case from last year, uh, which denied China's claims over the islands. It's sending a signal to our, our allies and our partners that the Trump administration is going to take it very seriously. But this question of denying access, that could be the fundamental issue between Beijing and Washington. It's a very hard thing to do, and it also depends on which islands he's talking about. All of them, or the ones that they took from the Philippines, some of them they have better you, claims you study, to. You, you study the Chinese. Are the Chinese worried fundamentally about this? Are they saber-rattling? What's going on here? I think they're worried that the United States is getting serious about their attempts to change the balance of power in Asia. I, I do. I think that for them, this is the first time in maybe 40 years they've had an administration come in and talk about not accepting uh, a changing status quo. And that, to Trump, I think is the whole deal. He thinks there is no status quo. It's going in China's favor. And, and so he's going to relink economics and security and politics and tell them that if you harm one part of this relationship, you're going to be harming other parts as well. Wow. Wow, incredible. Certainly could be an exciting uh, next six months. Uh, is, as one uh, Chinese watcher told me, giddy up as it relates to these, uh, to these islands and what could happen. Uh, Michael, we really appreciate your time. We'll have you back to talk about it as things develop. Thank you. All the best.